Welcome to our ultimate, ultimate guide for a Kenya safari. Oh, there they go. Oh. I hope this series of videos is the most complete and realistic guide on what a safari is really like and exactly how to do one in Kenya. And most of this information will apply to Tanzania and other areas as well. And we're gonna adventure above and below water. I'll tell you exactly what we're gonna cover right after this short intro. I haven't used that intro in a while because other than maybe Hawaii and Puerto Rico, we haven't done any big world traveling lately. But we did just get back from Kenya and it was one of our biggest adventures of all. Kenya is a dusty, bumpy, incredible country with lovely people. Oh, they still are stuff. Yes, they are very stubborn. <laughs> it's trips like this which motivated me to start a YouTube channel in the first place. A Kenya safari and then doing some scuba diving and snorkeling off the coast of Kenya was the epitome of travel adventure in my opinion. <laughs> We go to Amboseli National Park, Sopa Lodge at Lake Navasha, the Masamara, and more. Then we head over to Diani Beach near Mombasa. Well, Shion, you look dressed for safari. Hopefully, we inspire you to go on your own safari, but after this series, I hope you feel like you've been on one. We are going to cover how to plan a safari, how much it costs, best time of year to go, and so much more. We will provide every single tip we can think of that worked for us. It should make your trip much less stressful if you choose to go on a safari. So many animals. And a safari is a photographer's dream. I'll let you know what kind of camera gear you will need, and if a cell phone camera is good enough, what kind of lenses do you need, do you need a tripod, how to get the best shots, etc. Oh. 
Can't believe how many animals we saw yesterday. I think we saw more animals yesterday than I thought we would see on the whole trip. Planning and going on a safari was one of our hardest trips we've ever had to plan. We spent hours and hours and days and days doing research that you won't have to do if you watch this series. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified so you don't miss a single video. And if you like YouTube shorts, I hope to make a lot of those as well. Oh, and after getting back from our trip, I realized even though we did a ton of research, it's like 15 hippos right there, a lot of the information on the internet was wrong, or at least didn't apply to Kenya and where we went on our safari. For example, I took like 40 pounds of deep bug spray on our trip and didn't use any of it. Oh man, they move fast. The only place I could have used it will surprise you. Also, it really wasn't DEET bug spray. It was a much better kind, and I'll tell you all about it. And it also wasn't quite 40 pounds. Shannon said it was 40 pounds. Finally made it to Mazamara. We're gonna stay at Mara Eden for the next five days. That ride getting in was rough. Feel beat up. I was in a prize fight or something. That is bumpy. I didn't know it was gonna be that bumpy that long. Yeah, that's nice. Is this cool? Well, our room looks nice. It looks a lot more rustic than our last two places that were more like resorts or something. Uh, this is more what I picture when I think of going on a safari tents, but these are super nice. There's a huge, huge crocodile right across the bank from our room. You'll find him, he's huge. Look at that thing. In this series, not only do we adventure on land, but we do a lot of snorkeling and scuba diving as well. It's time for underwater safari. Most of the videos will be based on land, but we will show some incredible underwater stuff. If you like our scuba videos, like the ones from Puerto Rico or Hawaii, you will love these underwater videos. But I bet you'll like the land videos just as much. A safari is very similar to scuba diving. Basically adventuring out to see incredible and unique creatures and landscapes. Man, this place is great. Really down uh, in the elements. All right, guys. I haven't even shown the Mazamara yet, and it is arguably the best spot for a safari in Kenya. I'll leave you with a quick preview of the next video. I counted 12 lines. And trust me, you are not gonna wanna miss this one. But every time I count, there's one more, because I see one more. This is where the safari got real. 
Okay, if you made it this far, definitely subscribe because this is going to be our best series yet. I also recommend hitting that bell icon so you get notified and don't miss a single video. And once the next video is out, all you have to do is click right here.